Hello everyone, my name is Ash, and welcome to my crafting corner, today we will be painting Lupus Rainia Beta, from Overlord. We start with a basic dark skin tone for her. Here, I am slowly adding very light amounts of white paint to give the effect of stockings. You can use this with any color really, just make sure you go slow and add a little at a time. Add black paint to her garter belt, since we painted the stockings beforehand, the gaps between the lower garter will keep the white, making it much easier to not have to go between layers and add the paint later, I would rather keep it simple, and not have to add too much extra work where I don't need to. Again, we will use black on her legs, her shoes and the straps on them, are all the same color, we just take our time, and slowly, make our way across it all. The shoe, we can just slap on a messy first layer, the second layer will cover up anything that is missed, luckily, black paint covers up things far faster and better than any other paints I use. I 
I painted the black of her hat off screen, as it's the same as everything else, kinda just sprayed the first layer, and repeat. The white lines on her hat took a while to get a good coating on them, putting bright on dark always takes a lot of coats, it's not a bad thing. Just time consuming really, just add more and more layers until you are happy with how it looks. The red, ear, tassel things on her hat are just a standard red paint, use a small brush and take your time, again, lots of coats needed here. I went over the crests on the front with a black base coat so the gold would pop and actually be seen, if I didn't it would need a thousand coats. And I really don't want to waste it. Getting the color on this, armor thing for her lower dress was hard, I couldn't figure out what color it was meant to be, so I tried mixing a brown with some gold, and it actually looked pretty damn good. The wrap around her waist is just a standard dark gray, nothing special here. Now, onto the upper chest, we go over the main part, just slap on the first layer of black, 
don't need to be pretty about it, just make sure you get it where you want, the other layers will fill in anything you miss. Make sure to remember where the white of the dress for her breasts are though, it's kind of a weird outfit. The armband was just a gold brim around the same grey we used for her skirt. Take a really small brush, and work the bends in the chest. Just don't touch the white or it's a nightmare to fill in. The lines on the shoulders are the same as the hat really, lots, and lots of coats is all it takes. And for the necklace, just a boob of gold. Onto the arms now, using the same grays as before, make our way to coat the inner bands. She has some half sleeves we paint black. The weird, hand, string things, are black again, she has a lot of black in her outfit, but that's due to her being a maid, well, a battle maid, but, a maid nonetheless. The cuffs are coated in white, 
Just make sure not to get anything on the skin, as I didn't have any of my mix left. Lastly we add a very small red line inside the grey band, to break up the color. Her hair is red, but I added some orange into the mix, to brighten it just a little. These braids suck to paint, as I had to keep going in at a different angle to get into the hard to reach spots. The braids only have two colors in their bands, a blue, and white for the trims, so many layers of white. Now, we get on to what I think is the hardest part, the face, looking back on it, I wished I would have used a brush instead, to make the black of the eyes, but still, we go on. Use a yellow to give her eye color. and the add black for the pupil. The teeth are just white. Fill her eyelashes with a black, and same with the eyebrows. And with those two done, it's finally on to the glamour shots.
I want to thank you all for sticking with me through this one, I didn't realize how long this video would be, turns out she has a lot of parts with different colors. I have already finished painting the next figure, and I am starting to work on the editing of it, I'm still new to Adobe Premiere Pro for an editing software, so if anyone can give me some pointers with it, that would be great. If you liked what you saw, please consider checking out the artist who made this amazing model for Lupus Renia Beta, I will put their link in the description box below. They are a very skilled and talented artist, I hope to do more of their prints one day. Here is hoping they model more of the maids from Overlord.